In this video, I will be talking about the special mission Megatsu Go. This is one of the bonus quests. If you haven't seen my other videos or the playlist talking about all the different bonus quests, you can look in the upper right hand corner or in the description. Also know that if you don't know how to unlock bonus quests and feature quests, or if you didn't see the introduction video that I did talking about them, you can look in the upper right hand corner or in the description. So there's only one difficulty for this particular bonus quest. It is on normal. The enemies will scale to your level. Depending on what level you are at, they will actually stop at level 80. There is no level requirements. All you need to do is make sure you unlock feature quests and bonus quests. Let us view the quest records. If you go over here, click on the difficulty, click on the second option, you can see item special and the enemy record. With the enemy records, you will actually fight against a couple rare variants of these guys compared to the silver variants. You are fighting against the gold Magatsu as well. You can't easily kill that one. You actually had to do a certain process to kill it. But let us move on to the special ability ones. You can see that there's a couple grade threes and mark abilities. They also got another history, which will give you a plus 10% in experience gain. However, there's nothing too grand about these abilities. The marks you would definitely want to keep, but then again, you would need mark receptor to actually get the most out of it. When it comes to the item drops, you will most likely trade this in so you can get photon spheres and or X cubes. You might want to hold on to these, especially if you get a set, so you can use it on an alt character depending on what level they are at. However, if you are going for end game content, you will want to get higher grade units like 12 stars and 13 star units. Along with the weapons like a 14 star or 15 star weapon. Or 13 star. This is what the Go and Magatsu key looks like. If you go over here, you would want to stare at the key, stare at the title, it says bonus key Magatsu Goad. It will look like the Go Tokyo key, however, it will have a different text. This is a 7 star rarity, it is untradeable, and the expiration for this is going to be August 26, 2020. There is an expiration date. When it comes to you running this, it will not give you a lot of experience unlike the Tokyo key. However, when it comes to this, you would want to complete it so you can get the special little currency that you get at the end of this quest. You will see it in due time. When you run this quest, it doesn't give you a lot of experience like the Tokyo keys. However, you will see a little currency that you can get at the end of the quest and I will emphasize on the experience by showing you guys the numbers at the end of this video. Before I start up this quest, I do need to point out a couple of other things. So I am going to have this in reference for later. Stare at the experience that I can get, or stare at the number that I have up there in the upper right hand corner, 9,918,589. I do have a bunch of boosters on me, I have a 75% experience gain, try boost 100%, and then a 250% rare drop rate. Not only that, when it comes to me doing a bunch of quests over here in the Japanese PSO2, there's a 350% in terms of experience and rare drop rate boost, along with several other things, but the rare drop rate and the experience are going to play a factor into this. You want to make sure you have your key, you're going to go over here, you get to start it up, and you will go into this quest. Make sure you have some half dolls on you. Even if you fail, you can easily get back in here. And the enemies will most likely spawn at level 80. Let us see. You're going to go over here. You can kill these enemies manually. I am going to be using an AIS to do this, just because this is a goad. Magatsu key and it also emphasized on the usage uh, of AIS's. Note that if you are playing on the Japanese PS2 and you have better equipment, you can easily kill stuff with the equipment that you have. Like I was able to hit like 25k compared to what this AIS can do. So keep that in mind. But once again, these guys are at level 80. They're stuck at level 80. This is the max level that they can go for. If you do level up in the quest as well, note that they will stay at whatever level they started with. So if you started to play this quest at level 66 and you leveled up while killing a couple of these mobs, they will still stay at level 66. So it will be quite similar to Silver in terms of the first few mobs that will pop in. You do have 900, what, is it 999? Roughly around like 99 usage for the AIS. I think it's 98 now because I'm using one right now. So all you need to do is kill all these guys in a certain time limit. You do have a time limit. You have 10 minutes to do this. So make sure you complete it on time. And this is a solo quest. Alright, so over here, there are going to be rare variants compared to the... Uh, Silver Magatsu, 
like that mini boss right there. I'm just gonna use this for a bit, kill most of these guys like that, and I am gonna refresh this AIS timer because I am gonna have it the spear on me in 30 seconds or so. There is a timer at the bottom on your hot key on your sub palette. So yeah, I can use this 98 times now. Now it's 97. So I'm gonna kill this guy manually. And now you are gonna fight against Psy. Psy is the gold variant. Unlike the several one where you can easily kill or the regular one where you can easily kill it, you would actually have to go through a certain sequence to beat up Psy. You would actually have to aim for his kneecap first and then you want to work your way upwards because if you try to ignore his kneecaps actually you can actually hit the upper part never mind i thought there was like a barrier in the past that forced you to actually attack his uh, kneecaps and go through a certain procedure so you can kill him but no you can ignore his kneecap completely and just like aim for him i'm gonna pop this he does have a lot more hp so you can't just like shoot a laser at him. And if you want to open up his core, you do actually need to open up the other parts as well. So all I need to do now is to break his face. And then with that out of the way, now I can attack his core and open it up. If you don't do this, then that core will be protected. And I shot my weak bullet and it did not register. So he is going to go up in the air. I am going to avoid this. Or actually get close to him. I want to lock onto his chest if possible. I cannot. So I'm going to hide over here. Pop this. And then when he does that. You get to get out of cover. Quickly aim this. Aim at his chest. You should be able to insta kill him. If you aim properly. There we go. And that's the important thing with this particular quest. It's not the experience. It's not the loot. It's those star gems. You get 30 for completing this Magatsu key. Also... Let's do some quick math with this. I will have the numbers on the upper right hand corner or on the right side of this. I now need 3,604,203 experience for my next level up. Once that has happened, uh, pretty much you want to collect your loot. That's all the way over here next to the telepipe. When it comes to these stones, I don't think NA has them. This is an old... Well, actually, no, they changed it to Photon Boosters and Lambda Grinders now. Never mind. It's been a while since I actually ran one of these. But yeah, as you can see, there's a bunch of loot that drops. I am going to have to turn this in so I can make some room for it. Units. Weapons. But once again, this is more for XQs than Photon Spheres. But that it is, is it when it comes to this run. Let me show you guys what... Actually, no, I turned it all in, didn't I? Yeah. Here are the items. Here's the units. But that is it. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, put it down below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.